I'm Natty. I'm living in my converted minivan on a quest throughout the U.S. for adventure and beer in each state. Let me show you. Today we're in New York. I just arrived at the first free campsite I've found since Michigan. Let's go check it out. Is that a lake or a little pond? You have to cross a swamp to get there. Oh my goodness. So pretty. I just saw an otter. I swear. It was too big to be a bird and then its tail slapped the water and it dove under. Maybe a beaver, but still. That was so cool. I got chicken fingers so I could have chicken fingers in the finger lakes. Not really, it was just a coincidence. That was super good. But um, I went to move my car forward a little bit and a light came on, on in my car that said maintenance required, you need to change your oil. And I will, but first I'm gonna check my oil, my oil right now just to see. I don't know how well this is going to show up in the dark, plus with my shaky hand, but the oil only covers the first dot, not the second. changed. Next I need to eat lunch, fill up water, and figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of my day. I sure get to eat a lot of places with pretty views, huh? I'm in Watkins Glen today. So at first I was planning to go to Watkins Glen State Park, which is famous for waterfalls. But I just got here, the parking lot is really crowded, so inside it's gonna be crowded, and you had to pay for parking. So I'm like, mm, you know what? Let's just go somewhere else because I hate crowds. So now, the next step on the plan was to find somewhere with Wi-Fi so I can respond to comments, try to get my next video uploaded. Um, so that is what I'll just skip ahead to. And then hopefully that'll take three or four hours and then I'm gonna have a nice scenic drive moving north so I can see as much as the state as possible in these few days that I'm here. I just finished editing and uploading a video in two and a half hours. There is enough time that I can drive to where I wanna go tonight and it might still be light out. It's gonna be about a two hour drive so I figured I'd make myself a snack and I'm gonna show you all my invention. This is a Halloween trail mix. Pretzels, candy corn, and peanuts. 
I brought this gigantic bowl just to make trail mixes in. I just love Halloween so much. And then, if I was sharing it with other people, I would use a spoon, but I'm not, and I'm kind of in a hurry, so go well. And here's our final result. Yum. beautiful drive but now I don't have any service so Google Maps isn't working so I don't know how to get to this campsite been just kind of driving around looking at things I drove past a campsite on top of a hill where that someone was already at and I'm thinking that was probably it maybe I don't know but now I'm like okay let's look for somewhere else to camp there's that open area right there, but that doesn't look pretty. It looks really muddy. So I'm just gonna keep driving. All part of the adventure. Okay, I think I found the perfect spot, but it's a big mud puddle. I'm gonna have to drive through to get there. Look, an established campfire ring, hammocking trees, and a creek. This is the best place ever! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Look at that cute little mushroom! And the creek and so many leaves! People threw trash in their fire ring, which isn't cool. I'll clean up after them. Oh, old hay bales! Look at this place if anyone from toyota sees this and wants to sponsor me i can't even begin to describe how good it smells here i am in love with this place best campsite ever So instead of buying six packs in every state, I've been trying to save some money and only buy one beer. I know, what a shame, but I'm still drinking beers from past states. So today I felt like my beer from Wisconsin would be good. This is only the second time I've actually been using my beer opener and I have to move my stove to do it. It's a design flaw. Cheers, y'all. Everything in the past couple hours has been so perfect for fall. You know, my candy corn trail mix coming to this campsite with all the leaves. So I thought, what would be better for dinner than soup? I don't have a whisk, so I was just swishing it around a lot with a fork and then pressing a fork and a spoon together to press out the clumps. So, looks pretty good. We'll see how it goes. It is not too bad. It's very, very hot, but I enjoy it.
no other situation besides living in a van could you wake up in bed and be in a forest. Look at my roof. So many leaves came down in the night. I heard them too and it was, sometimes it was a little unexpected. While I'm picking up trash that these litterers left behind, I want to remind you all that yes, I do drink beer outside a lot, but leaving beer bottles and cans outside is never a good idea. If you benefit from something, you need to also take care of it. And that applies for nature. We benefit from being outside, enjoying things, so we take care of it. We do not leave trash behind. On a side note, look how many cool mushrooms there are. These guys and this guy that I thought was an egg at first glance. I did sanitize my hands, if you're wondering. Now it's a little after 10 and I'm doing a lot of driving today, but I have time to sit by the creek for a little while. You know you found a good place when you wish you could stay forever. It's a little before three and I made it to my campsite. If you remember in Pennsylvania, if you watched that video, I said I had these bug bites. So I didn't know where they were coming from. And I've still been waking up with more and more. Since I find them in the morning, I guess it's coming from my bed, but I already washed my sheets. And even if they were bed bugs, where'd they come from? Because bed bugs spread through soft luggage, like going in and out of hotels, soft furniture, something like that. But I've only been sitting at picnic tables and benches. There's also no drops of blood or telltale signs of bed bugs. So I don't know. I gotta do something. These bites are awful. For now, I'm gonna see what happens if I just deconstruct my bed and let everything air out. Maybe the UV light will help or something. All of my bed stuff are outside being aired out. If this doesn't work, I don't know what to do. It could also be that I'm allergic to something, but oh, what would I be allergic to? The day I slid down the rocks in Ohio Pio State Park, Pennsylvania, that the day after that was when I woke up and started seeing the bug bite. So maybe I'm allergic to that water. Oh. Oh, okay. Hi. Since we last talked, I hung up all my bedding, like you saw. Then I waited two hours, shook it, everything out, searched everything for bugs, something that looks like larva. I know that's really gross. Or blood spots or anything and nothing. Okay? So, who knows? As you can see, I bundled up because 
it's freezing out here. I turned my car on to close the windows and the little temperature thing said that it's 55 degrees out here. I'm gonna predict that I'm gonna be cold in the evenings from now until like when I reach Florida. For tonight's beer selection, I'm revisiting my beer from Ohio, Jackie O's, and dinner tonight is gonna be mac and cheese, the other half of a big box I got a few days ago because I can't really be bothered to make anything fancy. Plus, with not a lot of water, like, my options are kind of limited. The koozie is more to keep my hand warm than the beer cold. So Minnesota is known for having the biggest mosquitoes, but guess what I just killed? Look at that compared to the size of my hand. It's the same width as my pinky. I've been at him early this morning. It's only nine and I'm already leaving because hoping there will be less traffic if I start early. But if I didn't say this before, I'm in the Adirondacks and it's gonna be another beautiful drive, I bet. up to go to the bathroom and I feel moved by this place. You don't always see a lake with mountains around it and little islands. It's so magic. Lake George was recommended to me so that's where I went today and it's pretty crowded, you know. When I was by Watson's Glen State Park and I chose not to go there because it's crowded, I've heard that was actually one of the best trails in New York. So, bummer I didn't do that, but oh well. So, long story short, it seems any scenic hike is gonna be crowded. But, you know, that's the way it goes. Right now I'm at Pilot Knob Hiking Trail. Don't know what it's gonna be like. I just got to Lake George and typed in hiking trails near me, but first I'm gonna take a nap. I just don't feel like hiking right now. I'm too tired, so I'm gonna take a nap. And that is the perk of living in your van. That was a good little lie down, but days are wasting. As I was walking up to the trailhead, I was like, you know what? I don't even know where this trail goes, how long it is, anything. But turns out it's gonna be short, but with a lot of elevation. And then a scenic viewpoint. The trail to the lookout was 0 0.07 miles, and it was tough. It was really uphill. But when I got there, there was a bunch of people there, and I was like, I could just be done now, or I could go to this more 
you know, probably less people section and hike to a waterfall. So that's what I did. I'm really glad I came the extra way up here. This waterfall is so cool. But look at the shape of the rocks hanging out over the edge. How does gravity work? This waterfall has inspired me to go ahead and open the beer I brought with me. From Paradox Brewery, we have Leaf Peeper Supreme. Serious business if it says Supreme. Perfect spot is for a beer. I haven't said anything yet today because I was worried about jinxing it, but I haven't gotten more bug bites than I had yesterday. I can't say for sure if that's the end of them or what's going on, but it's a good sign. What a good hike. At first it was really strenuous and I definitely wish I didn't wear leggings and wool socks, but still, great hike. And I got a post hike treat I've been saving for myself. And that's apple pie. It's fresh baked. Can't you tell? How good does that look? Man, I had a lot of expectations for New York in the fall, but it met every one of them. There were so many colors, so many mushrooms. It was so cool. Next, will my bug bites ever go away? Is Vermont cheddar really different than other cheddar cheese? Find out in the next episode. And thank you for watching.